Hi guys, this is Rocio from Mama Abroad and it's Friday so, so I am feeling super excited about the weekend, about getting rest and getting some time to further plan our upcoming move to our brand new apartment. We are super excited, uh, but there's lots to do. You know, we have to, we, yesterday we actually started buying the first pieces of furniture that we've taken really long to select. There's still a lot of work ahead, but it's super exciting. It's the first time we're actually setting up a home. So of course we're thrilled. Now today I wanna talk about love. I want to expand on the theme that I covered previously on this video, which was, you know, making dad in, feel included in the whole pregnancy. So this is relevant to anyone, you know, whether it's making your husband or your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your partner, whoever is not actually carrying the baby in their belly, um, making them feel in included in the whole, you know, baby making process because even though they're not actually carrying it inside of them of course this is a shared experience and it's super exciting and special for the both of you as a couple so I have five tips on ways that you can make them feel included so I'm gonna start with the first and this is something that I've done with Max and I think works really well and it's adding all of the upcoming checks and scans and any medical appointments that you have with them and actually putting in his or her calendar as well. So this is great because if you're the one that's actually carrying the baby and needs to you know get all the care then you're the one that's actually talking to the midwife or the doctor you're actually following up on the appointments making them so you're more aware of everything that's coming up whilst your partner might not actually be hold on I'm just gonna turn this off so I I've just added everything that I have planned so far with my doctor in Max's calendar as well and we use Google calendars and that works really really great we love it that way I can always know when he's doing sports when we have a concert when we have a dinner instead of having to check with him always we just put it in our calendar and that helps so now all of our baby related appointments are there as well and he can say whether he's planning to attend or not of course the scans he never misses but there are other checks with the midwife that maybe he won't come to but it's nice that he knows that he can check with me and see what the midwife or the doctor said. So that's really nice. It makes me feel very supported as well. Another thing that I have been doing is I send him weekly updates on the baby's development based off all the updates that I get from Baby Center through the app that I talked about in this video uh, called My Pregnancy Today. So that is really, really great because every week there's like a big, you know, thing that's happening. And Every Monday when I get that, I share it with him so that he knows what size our baby is, how much he weighs, what he is working on that week and how he's growing. And that really makes him excited and it gives him a more graphic idea of how we're getting closer and closer to actually getting our baby. So super exciting. Another thing that we have been doing as a couple and it's really fun is creating name lists. So picking a name is super hard. I'm going to do a video in the future about, you know, how you can decide, but it's basically a huge responsibility naming another human being. And we have not yet decided, but we have a lot of fun. So making lists very quickly turns into a game. And uh, we sometimes think of very unlikely names, but it's fun and it's something that you know, gets you both excited about the baby. And another good idea is just letting him spend some time with you and the bump. You know, whenever he feels like he wants to feel your belly or just put his hand on it while you're watching TV or at night, say goodnight to it with a kiss, some words, or just, you know, stroking it, let him do it. Um, it's his way of connecting with the baby and it's very sweet. So that is important as well. 
And the last tip that I have is antenatal classes. So I have an appointment with my midwife next week, next Monday, and I am definitely going to ask about antenatal classes. I want to get started as soon as possible. Next week we're going to be five months. So I think it's a good time to start thinking about classes that we can take and meeting other parents and moms-to-be that we can share this time with. Um, and yeah, so I'll let you know how that goes. And I hope that you find this useful and that you continue to watch my content and subscribe to my channel. I will see you really soon. Have a great weekend. Bye.